Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, catchitsu.com. And yesterday, old Hoppity Hop, the reforming hipster, but yet still a gun hipster, hops at TFP TV, did a video called Single Stack Suck. And actually, that leads me to do this video, which I've actually been planning to do for a few months now, is Single Stack 45s don't suck. I completely agree that sing Single Stack 9mm suck, and lightweight Single Stack 40s definitely suck and 40s do recoil more and I've done a lot of research and they torque more and they destabilize in the hand more. Uh, sorry 40 people. I have enough tissue crush damage. What's that? You might want to watch my four part series 9mm versus 45 where I give you the actual science, the actual math on tissue crush. I compare HST to HST, critical duty to critical duty, critical defense to critical defense, XTPs, and I do this not in that clear gel mumbo jum jumbo which is complete and utter BS, but in real FBI style four layer real ballistics gel because clear ballistics makes you think nine millimeter does a lot and smaller calibers do a lot better than they really do ah you should probably watch my four-part series nine millimeter versus 45 just throwing it out there what does that mean that a 45 and comparable cheap hollow point does about 150 percent times 50 percent 52 percent times more um yeah, so in 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 stuff like critical duty, it does seventy six percent more tissue crush. So one hundred and seventy six times one shot of forty fives, almost two a nine millimeter. In HST, it's over two. It's two point one one two hundred eleven percent times more tissue crush in a two hundred thirty grand forty five uh, HST compared to a one twenty four plus P HST from long barrels, mind you. So which most people aren't carrying. So yeah. Nine millimeter single stacks absolutely stuck and they're outdated now that you have P365XL. And I was gonna get a single stack, see what it's all about, but I was gonna get a single stack in 45. Well, there's some single stack 45s that don't suck and be a lot better if um, companies would make even more so that don't suck. So uh, let me show you a couple now. T the, today is the day that I did a video on the N8 tactical holsters. Really comfortable, comfortable, maybe what you need to go for because of medical reasons or because of, you know, working long hours in an office or at home, comfortable might be something you need to go to because of uh, your lifestyle and because you're a rideshare driver. So I did a video on rideshare CCW and we're reviewing multiple any tactical holsters like this one I have on here with this pretty rare uh, CS45, look at my full review of my friends, my older friend. We got together today after all this 1984 stuff because I wanted to verify before handing it over, go to the range, see what he thought of my updates with the night sights and the magazines I made for him with new springs. Uh, I knew the eight rounders would still be reliable, but I wanted to verify the 10 rounders that I made because the springs aren't really quite as long with their plus 10% power wolf springs. Look at my full CSW45 review on my friend's pistol. Guess what? Third Gen Smith, flawless. Is the 10 round magazine really flawless? Actually, I expected it to jam after sitting seven months on the last round. No, and lock back all the time as well. Well, this is eight plus one now. So, so unfortunately, single stack 45s were made six plus one, seven plus one. That's not enough for me. I always said you need at least eight plus one in gun of 45. We'll handle almost all situations. And then if you need to do a reload, usually you don't have to fire, but you need to, may need a reload to, you don't know what, how many rounds you got left and you may need to cover the suspect on the ground. Even if you're a civilian, wait for police to arrive and everything else. Still cover your six. So... Uh, a plus one now, or is it, I got two 10 rounders in the back, so I could carry this appendix, a plus one, carry it on the hip, 10 plus one, carry it with a couple 10 round backup magazines, and yeah, I don't think my Smith's extractor is going to break on a third gen, and I don't slam them home crazy, crazy hard, but uh, 10 plus one, 10 plus one of 45s. Pretty darn good. Let's show you another pistol. This is what I pocket carry. My pocket carry is better than most people's primaries. This is a car CW45 uh, modified from 6 plus 1. Now it was 7 plus 1, not really modified because I didn't modify this mag. We're modified 8 round mags. Uh, these are ACT mags. Uh, 
hip appendix, whatever, carried eight plus one in the pocket, no problem, super lightweight gun, easy to carry, seven plus one, 45. Can you get more rounds than nine millimeter? Yeah, but this is now eight plus one, that is eight plus one or 10 plus one. Uh, with act mags or eight round mag, you got to file down a little bit and I may be ordering some old classic shooting star magazines. Been told those might work even without modifications. Doesn't really look in the picture. I may have to file down, but I may want to try different seven and eight rounders, uh, as well. Had some problems with the 10 rounder. I tried to do that with, but this has been flawless. This has been flawless, easy, thin, one inch, one inch, and just under 22 ounces, 21.7 ounces. Little chunkier, okay? Look at the business ends. That will make you stop what you're doing a lot better, maybe, right? Maybe these are a little bit more intimidating. That could be helpful, it could be. And um, uh, this is just under 24 ounces. I think 23.9 ounces, maybe a little bit more now, guys, with the, uh, the longer magazines. But this doesn't suck. This is super easy to carry. And uh, why is the nine millimeter outdated if it's only like, especially seven plus one or eight plus one nine millimeter? Well, you got the, you know, 12 plus one Sig mags, 15 plus one, 365 mags. You got 13 plus one, 11 plus one in your Hellcats. Even my PPQ SC, little tiny grip pocket carry. That's 10 plus one. That's 10 plus one. The only single stack nine I don't think sucks. And I'm not a Glock fanboy is a Glock 48. Uh, and of course, you know, as Hop said at TFP TV and the single stack sucks, you know, shield uh, magazines. Um, now you can put those magazines in and verify them and make sure they can last compressed a long time. Some people have reported some problems, but overall, most people are happy. 15 plus one. Well, it's not really a single stack then anymore. Now, is it? Uh, but at least it's 10 plus one. And 10 plus one and nine millimeter me is the minimum or eight plus one and 45. And 45 is the minimum. Why? Because look at my four my, my four videos, very detailed science on 9mm versus 45. Anyone that tells you the caliber is all the same is complete asinine, doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. It isn't. It isn't in cheap hollow points, 50-60% more effective. In ball, it's exactly 62, a little over 62% more effective. Um, even more so because two holes bleed faster than one. Uh, in HST, 2.11 times, 211% more effective. So for every two shots, you would need a nine millimeter. My one shot at 45 does literally just as much damage. It just does, you know, outside one doesn't hit somewhere or whatever. But the first, in a self-defense, defensive gun use, number one, like two to three million people a year. CDC hit numbers, what the real numbers are, and most people don't report. And I haven't reported in some, and I reported in others, and they didn't even bother to get a report or a number of the times I've had a defensively display or almost defensively displayed my firearm in the last four years, three years of four times almost uh, getting robbed. So, uh, usually you just show it. Good guys are so good, they only fire 240 to 268 times per year, typically. Out of three million. So yes, intimidating might be helpful, right? And if you do gotta shoot, it's usually three, four, five, six rounds, uh, maybe eight, nine rounds. I think definitely you want nine, you wanna at least be able to fire three rounds at three bad guys, because more and more times it is multiple opponents, attackers, assailants, but, um, and even if it was one guy, NYPD only hit 1.6 out of every eight shots, so I'm by train each week, hopefully, Nine shots should at least get me two hits. And two hot hits on HST is almost like the equivalent or more of four rounds of nine millimeter. Of like nine rounds of 38, 10 rounds of 380, something like that. I did the math in part three. Um, so guys, 48, 45 single stacks don't suck. Now, there's some that don't suck now, but boy, I wish they would make them have one more round. So you got the... Uh, Old Smith and Wesson, and a 45105 would be a great as well. A little bit longer barrel, but still like 26 ounces, still light enough to carry. Uh, if you could find old third gen Smith 45, 4506, um, Denzel Washington style, that's a little heavy, especially carry two of those. But I can carry two lightweights. In fact, I just did. Just went to dinner. Um, the CS45 and the CW45 car. Super, super light, guys. Super easy, super thin, 
uh, right? And it actually gives you more actual stopping power. It literally does. You don't like that term stopping power because all pistols suck compared to a rifle or shotgun, but it really is. Okay, but there's others, guys. There's the Shield 45. It would be totally awesome. Uh, that's what I would recommend to a lot of people. Shield 45. A little lighter. A little bit of recoil. But boy, I wish there was one more round capacity in the longer magazine. I think it's 7, 6, and 7. I don't need 7 plus 1. I need 8 plus 1. I just do. Um, I think there's Hive and some other, you know, extensions or different springs you can put in. Let me know how reliable those guys are if you have a Shield 45. If Shield 45 was 8 plus 1, I would already buy one with Night Sights. Already would buy one, no manual safety with Night Sights if I could get it. XD45. I like the XD45. And Lane and Tactical must like it too because they make their XDE in 9mm and 45. I like the XDE. I've done a review, a quick review on the 9mm. I love the way the 45, a little bit thicker, fits in my hand, fits great, but it needs larger capacity. Not only does it need larger capacity, some of these are 3.3 inch barreled pistols. The car's 3.64. Glock 36, 3.77, Glock 30, 3.77. I like that length a lot better, especially Penix carry and stuff. Uh, but uh, Springfield Armory would be great if you made the XTE in the 3.8 inch barreled version like you do the 9mm. You make it 3.8 and 4.5. But 3.8 and elongate that grip a bit and instead of 6 and 7 rounds, give it, let it come with 7 and 8 round magazines or 8 round and 9 round magazines if you could. Or an 8 and a 10 round or even better if you can make the 10 rounder reliable that would be the way to go guys ruger p30 345 kind of got blown over there but i might pick one up someday a ruger p345 is thin enough light enough that's a good enough pistol to carry um uh, guys we really need like under just under 25 ounce give me a just under 25 ounce 45 single stack a plus one guys I think a lot of people would be happy and even better served with that than even their double stack 9mm in most cases. Uh, how about a Glock 36X? We made a 43X and a 48 Glock. How about a Glock 36S? X, you know, uh, maybe you don't think the demand's there anymore. But, uh, and then the double stacks, guys. You got Glock 30S, you got the, the, the MPs, MP compacts, A plus 1 or 10 plus 1. That is a nice pistol, 28 ounces, like it's maybe less. It's not that heavy. You could you could carry that if you want to go to double stack carry. Uh, how about a lightweight Commander 1911? Everyone hating on their 1911s. Well, it's mostly magazine problems and vetting. Okay, and yeah, 1911s might go kaput if you have shitty magazines that came with a gun and you try to do a three-day course. Uh, they need more lube. They need more cleaning. It's not, you know... Something like a Striker Fire 9 that you can put a three day course, you know, 1200, 2000 rounds through. But do I need that in defensive gun use? Be very unlikely to even reload, right? But as long as I carry my single stack and I carry two of these, two extras of these, that would be A plus one and two extra 10 rounds, that's 29 rounds. I would need it to get through about 29 rounds or, or, 24 round, 24 or 5 rounds, 3 8 rounders, and a plus 1, 25 rounds, maybe, in most, even the, the, the far outliers of situations, that's all you need it to be reliable. And if a 1911 lightweight commander you can find is reliable, certain companies I think are better than others, uh, but good mags like Wilson 47Ds or Wilson ETMs usually. Uh, so, unfortunately, a lot of lightweight commanders are over 32 ounces. I find 30, 32 ounces isn't that bad. Once you get over 30 ounces, a little heavy for carry. It can be done. Good holster, good belt. But, so, single stack 9mm suck. Do single stack 45 suck? Not really. I can carry these two lightweights. That's 29 rounds for the CS45, and I got eight rounds of backup in my offside front pocket. If you don't know why I do that, man, I want to watch my seven reasons to carry a backup gun video. Look at my best pew pew review playlist, and hopefully, guys, some people will do some push ups and man up and learn that even 45 and a lightweight, yes, it recoils a little bit more than 9mm. It's not like a 40, and you can check Chuck Hawks, and you can check all the data, and you can watch videos in slow motion like I have, and you can check split times like I have 9mm versus 45, two of the lightest 9mm versus two of the 45s. No statistical difference. One was like a 0.5 uh, seconds a little bit longer, but everything was like 20, 20 splits. 
in the latest weight pistols, not 40 ounce 1911s. So guys, and, and guys, what are you gonna need? You're gonna need a few rounds, some extra magazines, and you want the bad guy to stop as quickly as possible. That's what it's about. Outside a lucky CNS shot, which is maybe three to 7% of all gunfights, outside, I'm guessing, outside of CNS shots, it's either 50% physical, physiological stop, 50% psychological stop. So anything you can get to stop, to up the, the physical stop and other stuff you can do to up the psychological, and short barrel 45 actually does both, because it ups the physiological because of the higher tissue crush, much faster blood loss, if you don't hit CNS, that's why people stop doing what they're doing. They suddenly feel woozy, tired, or they fall down. They decide, oh my God, I'm hit. It's time to stop. It's because of the blood bus, the diastolic pressure loss. So hopefully you watch all four parts of my 9 millimeters 45 actually look at real data instead of hearsay. And maybe you will understand why single stack 45s don't suck. Eat that hopping. TFB TV in your shorty short shorts. I don't really want any trouble. Trigger! Yo, homie. Is that my briefcase? You want it back? There's one more guy.